Welcome to Explain, a series of health education programs published by the Patient Education Institute, the leading provider of interactive health education. This video includes general medical information and does not replace the medical advice of your doctor or healthcare provider. If you have questions pertaining to your medical condition, ask your doctor or healthcare provider. Neck Injuries and Disorders Introduction Any part of your neck can be affected by neck problems. These affect the muscles, bones, joints, tendons, ligaments, or nerves in the neck. There are many common neck injuries and disorders. Treatment for neck injuries and disorders depends on the cause. It may include applying ice, taking pain relievers, getting physical therapy, or wearing a cervical collar. In rare cases, surgery may be needed. This program explains common neck injuries and disorders, including common symptoms and treatment options. The neck. The neck supports the head and keeps it aligned with the body. It is at the topmost part of the spine. The spine also runs through the middle and the lower back. The neck is made up of vertebrae, joints, and muscles. The vertebrae are the bones of the spine. They protect the spinal cord inside the bones and give support for muscles and joints. In between the vertebrae are discs. Discs separate the vertebrae and cushion them during movement. Joints link the vertebrae and allow them to move smoothly. These joints are known as facet joints. Nerves spread out from the spinal cord between the vertebrae. They carry signals from the brain to the rest of the body. They allow the brain to control body movements, like the movements of the arm. Nerves also carry sensation from the rest of the body to the brain. The neck muscles are attached to the bones of the shoulders, spine, and head. They allow the head to turn from side to side. The muscles also allow the neck to bend forward and backward. The neck can bend from side to side as well. Symptoms Many neck injuries and disorders have similar symptoms. The main symptom is pain in the neck. Pain may also come from your shoulder, jaw, head, or upper arms. Other common symptoms of neck injuries and disorders are bruising, difficulty moving the neck, headaches, pain when moving the neck, swelling in or around the neck. Some neck injuries and disorders may also cause difficulty walking or loss of balance, loss of bladder or bowel control, numbness or tingling in the arms, hands, legs, or feet, weakness in the arms and legs. Talk to your health care provider if you notice any of these symptoms or other changes. Finding a problem early makes treatment easier in most cases. Sponsored by the Patient Education Institute www.patient-education.com Over 5,000 videos and interactive tutorials. Whiplash Whiplash is an injury to the neck. It may be called neck sprain or strain. Whiplash can have many causes. Common causes include car accidents, contact sports, physical abuse, Car accidents are the most common cause of whiplash, especially rear-end collisions. These types of car accidents cause the head to be thrown backward and then forward suddenly. This pushes the muscles and ligaments in the neck beyond their normal range of motion, causing injury. Sometimes injuries from contact sports can cause whiplash. For example, a person playing football may be tackled in a way that forces the head to be thrown backward and then forward. Physical abuse is another possible cause of whiplash. It can happen when a person is shaken or punched. Whiplash can also happen to babies who have suffered shaken baby syndrome. Treatment for whiplash can include rest during the first 24 hours, medicines, therapy, foam collars, alternative medicine. Over-the-counter or prescription pain medicines can help reduce pain caused by whiplash. In some cases, injections of a numbing medicine or an oral muscle relaxant may be given. 
Therapy is the main treatment for whiplash. Ice or heat therapy may be recommended, as well as ultrasound therapy. Exercises to strengthen and stretch the neck muscles can also help. Soft foam cervical collars may be worn temporarily or for a few hours a day. Alternative medicine may help ease neck pain temporarily. This can include chiropractic care, massage, and acupuncture. Acupuncture involves the use of very thin needles to relieve pain. Cervical fracture A cervical fracture is another name for a broken neck. A fracture can affect any of the bones in the neck. These are called the cervical vertebrae. Cervical fractures can happen due to a car accident or fall. Athletes can also fracture a bone in the neck. Examples include diving into a shallow pool or colliding with another player during a football game. If the vertebrae are injured, the spinal cord could also be injured. This can be life-threatening. It could cause temporary or permanent paralysis from the neck down. Treatment depends on the location of the injury and the kind of fracture. A cervical brace may be used. Traction or surgery might be needed for complex fractures. Arthritis Arthritis in the neck is common. It results from normal wear and tear on the joints as people age. Most people over age 60 have neck arthritis that is often painless. With arthritis, cartilage between the bones of the neck wears away. In severe cases, bones in the neck can rub against other bones. Your body may develop bone spurs around the worn joints for extra support. The extra bone can press on your spinal cord and nerves. Treatment for arthritis in the neck depends on the severity of the disease. Some people may not need treatment if they do not have any symptoms. Non-surgical treatments are often tried first when treatment is needed. These may include ice, heat, or massage, medicines such as pain medicines or muscle relaxants, physical therapy to strengthen and stretch neck muscles, soft foam collars worn temporarily, steroid injections to reduce pain and inflammation. Rarely, surgery may be needed. Surgery is often only used when other treatments fail to provide relief from symptoms. Disc Problems Normally, discs act as cushions between the vertebrae. As you get older, the center of a disc in the spine may start to lose water. This makes the disc less effective as a cushion. The disc and surrounding vertebrae can deteriorate. The disc can also move out of place, causing a herniated disc. Spurs can also form. A herniated disc or a spur can press on nerves along the spine. This can result in pain, numbness, tingling, or weakness in the limbs. Many people can be successfully treated with non-surgical treatments, such as anti-inflammatory and pain medicines, injections, physical therapy, rest, a soft foam collar. Surgery may be needed for more severe cases or if non-surgical treatments do not help. The goal of surgery is to remove the portion of the disc or spur pushing on the spinal cord or nerves. If you like this video, please like and share. For similar videos, subscribe to our channel. Summary any part of your neck can be affected by neck problems. These affect the muscles, bones, joints, tendons, ligaments, or nerves in the neck. There are many common neck injuries and disorders, including whiplash, cervical fracture, arthritis, disc problems. Many neck injuries and disorders have similar symptoms. The main symptom is pain in the neck. Pain may also come from your shoulder, jaw, head, or upper arms. Other common symptoms are bruising, difficulty moving the neck, headaches, weakness in the arms or legs. Talk to your healthcare provider if you notice any of these symptoms or other changes. Finding a problem early makes treatment easier in most cases.
Treatment for neck injuries and disorders depends on the cause. It may include applying ice, taking pain relievers, getting physical therapy, or wearing a cervical collar. In rare cases, surgery may be needed. Thank you for using Explain.